Good evening, hi. I'm at the channel that I've got here, well, you know, just for fun and everything, but I was meant to just put up some songs and things about gardening and whatever, but I just feel very, <coughs> excuse me, very caught up in Lucy Let Be conviction, unsafe unsafe conviction, miscarriage of justice, gross miscarriage of justice as they say. I just started watching a video of a channel I used to watch which um, covered the trial in a lot of detail which was helpful in some ways but it's moved on to something else now. It, it kind of wants to Maybe I'm getting too emotionally involved here and not keeping a clear head, but well, in this channel, I won't, no need to mention the name, but it seems to want to say, well, how many more victims? They want, they, they want it to be done for 4,000 murders, don't they? You know, you, you, I'm getting the feeling. I'm getting the feeling of that. They want the more, you know, that's why all these, um, you can feel it in the voice, actually, of the person doing the video. There's an excitement there. Oh, I don't, oh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, it's just the tip of the iceberg. They want it. They want it to be the case. They want it to be the case. Not, not oh God, I hope there's no more. They want it to be the case. And that's the energy that's driving the media, the scum media. That's the energy that then drives probably right from the beginning the group of people that conferred together obviously those consultants and started going yeah oh it's got it's her she's doing it all she's doing it all never mind the ones that they couldn't bring in because she wasn't on duty there's so many arguments I'm coming across that are so persuasive as to the problems here the problems with the safety of that conviction you know you could list them all but there's um there's a lot of resources um Starting up the, um, what's the thing now? Science. Sorry, I should have got that ready. Science on Trial website. So scienceontrial.com is going to be setting up some um, Zoom meetings for interested parties to, as it, as it says on the website, to... To, const to to strategize over uh, you know the potential for a retrial bring people together who sim feel similarly about this you know yeah obviously you want some legal experts and uh, I hesitate to use that word expert people with a strong legal knowledge It's just so, there's just so much that I don't know where to start. I mean, I don't, I don't have to reiterate it all. I think we know where we are. With there's, just one little example of just out. I mean, it should, it's not important this because it's just a, a rando. Not not that I'm not a rando on the internet, but just some random on tw rando on a twit on Twitter puts this tweet out and goes like oh she, uh, she she wrote she wrote down it was hard off the back of the the alleged um, you know the poisonings and everything hard off that the tweet goes oh she well she wrote actually wrote down on a um on a on a, on a paper towel that was found uh the list of um uh um, of medications that were given to a baby of air and and uh, insulin. Well, no. What it turned out to be is that and this is this was in the a Chester newspaper. Made it very clear. It was a a paper towel. Yeah, perhaps the best best not not the best thing to to write it down on on there. But perhaps if they if they were terribly rushed, maybe it's not the best protocol. But but obviously by more than one person, and it was related to a successful resuscitation of a baby. But this person had used that little nugget and twisted it into something else that, that it was related to 
the, um, an admission and a further confession and a little bit of a trophy of what she'd done. But it related to a baby that was resuscitated. Coming across some real nutters today. I mean, I know you, you always get them on Twitter about every subject, but a real 24 carat nutters that are real... You can just tell and that these people are out there and some of them will find their ways onto juries. Some of them will find their ways into being uh, court-appointed court experts. Look at the Sally Clark case with uh, Professor Roy Meadow. What are the, the statistics that he gave for her that she had to have murdered her children? One in 76 million uh, from memory? That's what he said. It was a load of bollocks. He just made it up. He made it up. It's crap. And he and then he was um, totally discredited for the damage he'd done to several people across several cases. Destroyed Sally Clark, who died at 50, 42 years old. Once she'd been released, she'd had a terrible time in prison. <laughs> Destroyed her. Wrecked her life completely. And, and she was a solicitor before being falsely accused by an expert... So yeah, so there's science on trial. And finally this guy, um, I'm just going to look up another little link here. I've got to get a proper camera and stuff. <laughs> but it's uh, Richard Guild, yeah, he's doing a lot of interesting stuff on statistics. So is the guy that's running um, something called Chimp Investor. So he's into investments, but his background is, a, is as a, it's hard to say this word, statistician. I think I've got that right. And he's very into clusters, and, he, and, and he's, you need to read it yourself, there's no point in me regurgitating it here. But it's the eye, broad brush stroke is that <clears throat> because of the deaths that weren't attributed, were not attributed to... Lucy Lefty during the period which they say she did kill other babies there was obviously something else going wrong there as well with all those other deaths so what the chimp investor <laughs> funny name but anyway brilliant guy obviously uh, work, works all this out there's a lot of detail but the, to cut to the the chase he was saying, well, we're being asked to believe, and the jury was asked to believe that, um, or we're being asked to believe now, I don't know if it came up in the, wasn't formulated like that in, in, the, in the court case, that there were, at the same time there was a serial killer at work, there was some other very, very uh, dangerous thing going on in the ward that was responsible for this anomaly and the other de the, 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 the other deaths constituted. But they but. But they both stopped at the time Lucy left. They both stopped. Which meant, well, why would the other one stop? I don't even know if I have that right. I don't know if I've got that right. My head's spinning. I'll have to go back to the drawing board on that. Fucking hell. What did he say? What did he say? I should have prepared all this. Oh, Jim Investor. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Meeting some real... Yeah, here we are, I'll read it, sorry for the hiatus there, if, if anyone's still listening. If we assume the non-malicious, I'm reading from the Chimp Investor investment blog, chimpinvestor.com. If we assume that non-malicious deaths are distributed according to the Poisson distribution, the deaths are independent of each other and occur at a rate of 2.7 per year, 
the average of 2013, 14, 2017, <coughs> then their odds, then the odds of there being 11 deaths, the ones that uh, Letby has not been accused of, so there were 11 deaths she was not accused of, over a two-year period, purely by, purely by chance, is 1 in 83. In other words, the prosecution is asking the jury to believe that there is both a serial killer at work as well as some other factor, e.g. faulty equipment, understaffed unit, incompetence among medical staff, including the consultants, causing the deaths. And that these two factors both started and stopped at exactly the same time. Quite a coincidence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they stopped at the same time. So what what else changed there? Is this when they when they destroyed the building? Was the building destroyed? That's what I've read elsewhere. In other words, covering up the. Uh, see, I'm reading information from so many different sources, and I don't. I, I, how do we track it all back to know it's true? The idea was that the building was like raised to the ground to cover up the fact there'd been a problem with the plumbing. That was on the that was on the um, that was on the Rex v uh, Lucy Letby website. Oh God! When you get into all this, you just need you need it out in front of you, don't you? You need to really look at all this stuff, and that's why. Having the Zoom meetings would be a really good idea, so that people are really on top of it all. And I, I read some bits, and then I, I forget where it's come from, and then because it's, it's, it's like a deep dive, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. What do you all think? And I know I'm getting people, some people commenting that it's, that they're also very concerned about it. I, I sent a letter to, um, I hope it gets there to Mr and Mrs Letby today in Hereford. Just saying that um, there are people out here, out there, that believe their daughter is innocent. innocent. I, I kept saying, well, I don't, I don't know if she's innocent. I'm not saying she's innocent. I'm just saying it's an unsafe conviction or it's... You know, did they did they reach? Did they reach beyond reasonable doubt? And I can't say. I still can't say. I know, but I believe. I believe and suspect. And obviously, I'm got, that's what I'm going to write in the letter because that is what I believe actually. But that's not the same thing as saying I know it because I don't know it, but I believe it, and suspect, stroke, believe, intuition. That, that she is innocent. I just hope very much they're protecting her in prison. Some of the evil things you read on Twitter where people say that she should be stoned to death and hanged and they don't even know anything about that. They, they haven't got a clue about... You know, if you ask them, they'd say, oh, well, there were never any deaths there before. She comes along, there's all these deaths, she leaves, there's nothing, no deaths afterwards. They haven't got a clue. They haven't got a clue about it. But that's it. That's the mob, isn't it? That's the mob. That's the mob with the flaming torches. They've just got flaming tweets now instead of flaming torches. Sorry, this has been a bit of a all over the shop, this video, but it's sort of really upsetting, isn't it, to think. And it goes without saying, it's terrible tragic tragedy for the families who have lost their babies. But if they're not crimes, I mean, they might be incompetence and there might be negligence issues and failures of the NHS and and, the, and some of the, some of those consultants and possibly some of the nurses and but not crimes. I mean, not deliberate crimes, not acts of murder. And to think someone is um, been accused falsely is is terrible. Thanks.